Hi everybody, this is Metal Kaiju and today I'll be discussing about uh, Godzilla vs King Kong. Today I'll be doing a subscriber requested video. Yes, I haven't done these in a very, very long time. It's because I've been busy. Still am. I'm going to be unbusy. I'm no longer going to be busy by June. May is going to be a very, very busy month. Um, I mean, to the point where, you know, I can't really have uh, hangouts with my friends of that sort. You know, I'm really busy and, you know always tired and you know stuff of that sort so yeah so june i think until june there will be more daily videos and stuff of that sort like right now i'm probably gonna record like three videos for i can just like schedule them for like you know other days in may so you know pretty busy but anyhow this request comes from uh dilo hd or dilo hd i'm pretty sure it's spelled dilo hd though um he did have two requests I think the second one is a better request. The first request, I can, you know, pretty much just say it right now. And basically just give out my opinion and stuff of that sort. So basically he says, quote unquote, I have a request. Do you think Godzilla Resurgence will revive the series and be able to make bigger budgets of Godzilla movies? Okay, so that's his first request. Now, first of all, I do think that the Godzilla franchise is revived. But not by Godzilla Resurgence, but instead by Godzilla Team 14. You know, that was a pretty big success. Obviously not as big as, you know, Jurassic World or Star Wars, obviously. But it was, you know, pretty, pretty big. Um, many people liked it, just like me. I mean, some did, didn't, you know, some people didn't really like it. Um, but, you know, it wasn't as bad as Godzilla 1998. Unless you're a fan of Godzilla 1998, then, you know, that's completely fine. Um, but, uh, <clears throat> but, yeah, I think Godzilla 2014 is really the one who revived the series. Anyhow, now let's go to his second request. Uh, do you think in Godzilla vs. King Kong 2020, do you think they team up and fight a different kaiju, a monster strong enough to wipe out any kaiju it faces, and only these two titans can stop it? Now, this is a very, very interesting topic. Is it going to be literally Godzilla vs. Kong, where literally Godzilla fights King Kong the entire time, and we'll see who wins, King Kong or Godzilla? Um, so... Yeah, that's that idea, you know, the simpler idea. And the other idea is how, you know, yeah, oh my god, I can't talk. How he mentions it where basically Godzilla and King Kong fight, but then a bigger enemy comes, and basically Godzilla and King Kong, uh, you know, cannot be separate. They need to be together in order to fight this beast that could, you know, if they're separated, wipe him out. So, you know, that's a very interesting uh, idea. Now, the only thing is, who would that be, exactly? Um, you know, which role would that make sense for? Unless it's, like, a new kaiju or something where, like, it's super strong or something. Um, but, uh, yeah, is it basically Batman v Superman style? Or is it basically, you know, Godzilla and King Kong just fighting? You know, they're, they're just fighting. Um, now, this is a very interesting idea. I think, you know, Godzilla vs. King Kong, uh, you know, fighting and then teaming up. That's a pretty, uh, that used to actually be an original idea, but now that idea is, like, super used in, like, every single crossover ever, like, ever. Uh, not, not every cross, not every crossover, but a bunch of crossovers have that, where basically, uh, they both, uh, you know, both of them fight, uh, you know, that's when basically a... A guy who can defeat both of them comes in and then they join forces in like that. So, you know, that idea, that concept has been used so much. Now, the only thing with Godzilla and King Kong just fighting, I am pretty sure Godzilla would easily win. Now, I do realize this King Kong is obviously going to be bigger as seen in the set photos. But either way, I think King Kong is going to die. I mean, it's literally a beam being shot at a hairy ape. I'm pretty sure he's gonna go up in flames. Uh, Godzilla's gonna, you know, tail smack him. You know, maybe bite his neck. You know, stuff of that sort. So, honestly, I think Godzilla's gonna win. I mean, how is King Kong gonna win? I have no idea. Maybe choking him or like, I don't know. I, I don't know. I mean, they might add powers to King Kong. That would be a really interesting idea. Kind of like how Godzilla versus King Kong where they add that uh, electricity thing. That would be pretty cool if we saw that. Um, but anyhow, let's get back into what I'm saying. So basically, I am 50-50 about this. Um, they both have their good things. They both have their bad things. 
Um, I mean, in both situations, it's very predictable. It's just guessing, uh, you know, which situation it will be. I mean, if it is both of them teaming up to fight someone, I guess that adds a little more suspense as we don't really know who this, uh, you know, big force really is. Um, I mean, if they do do that, um, I think it will be cool if they brought in, you know, a, uh, a Toho Kaiju. That would be pretty cool. I mean, they can't really add King Adora. I mean, unless, unless King Adora is, you know, slated to be released here. And the whole King Adora and Godzilla 2 was just, you know, to mix us up or something. I honestly think King Kong, excuse me, King Adora, Rodan, and, or Rodan, whatever. And Mothra will be in Godzilla 2. So who can this kaiju that can defeat both of them be? If it, if it was a new creation, that would be cool. But I feel like we wouldn't really invest too much in it. And I feel like we wouldn't really know how powerful it is, un you know, unless we actually know how it was in, like, other movies and stuff of that sort. So, you know, I have literally no idea. Space Godzilla, Destroyer. I mean, I don't think Destroyer really is, like, worthy of that. But, uh, you know, maybe Space Godzilla. Maybe, I mean, if they bring Bag Bagan or Bagan, however you want to pronounce it. I like pronouncing it Bagan. But if they bring him, oh, my God. I mean... I know we don't really know how strong Bagan really is, but uh, if they bring him up, you know, make him strong. Make him really strong. You know, that would be really cool if we saw him. Really, really cool, like a realistic-looking dragon-looking uh, uh, creature. Very, very cool concept. Um, but yeah, either way, I am 50-50 about this. Um, in my opinion, both ways are predictable. Um, I guess if you want more suspense, more, uh, I guess, more theories going around... I guess it will be a better route to go for Godzilla and King Kong teaming up to fight someone. Because we don't know who that someone is. So I guess that adds a little bit more suspense. But it's kind of predictable that King Kong and Godzilla are obviously going to beat him. Obviously. Uh, so but that's basically all for this video. Please tell me comment below. Uh, what do you think is a better concept? Godzilla and King Kong just duking it out until you know they die. Or maybe they, you know, they, maybe they tie. Maybe they tie. Um, or do you prefer Godzilla and King Kong fighting for a bit? And then teaming up to fight a bigger force. Uh, so please tell me in the comment below. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, but the end for this video, remember to subscribe, like, and comment. This is Mother Kaiju, signing out.